Samoa Joe incidentally did wind up showing up on the Titan Tron and cuts a promo on Roman Reigns, and that brought out Jinder Mahal. So Jinder Mahal then comes out and basically gets in the ring and challenges Roman Reigns for some reason. I don't know why. Jinder's been on one hell of a losing streak lately. And then Sami Zayn comes out next to an enormous pop. I mean, holy shit. Stone Cold Steve Austin Road Warrior pop that Sami Zayn got. And if you thought his pop was big, it was even bigger when Kevin Owens came out next. So that crowd in Montreal welcomed the hometown boys with open arms and just cheered their asses off. This leads to a brawl. Sammy Owens and Jinder all attack Roman Reigns. That brings out Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman to make the save. And of course, you know that's going to set up a six-man match later on in the evening. We might as well fast forward to that. And no big surprise here because this thing is a colossal mismatch. You had Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, and Bobby Lashley defeating Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Jinder Mahal. And the crowd was actually pretty cool with it. I was really surprised that they had Sami Zayn eat the pin. I thought for sure the only reason Jinder was out there is so he could eat the pin because this was a very pro Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens crowd. But what I liked about this is that... Having Raw in Montreal was a really good test, I think, to to see just truly how over Braun Strowman really is. And judging by the crowd reactions of Sammy and Owens, you would think that Strowman would get booed here. But no, the crowd was actually okay with him hitting Sami Zayn with the power slam and getting the pin. I thought that was a risky move to do, because if Strowman were to pin Jinder, then of course the crowd is going to cheer because nobody, no matter what country you're in, gives a shit about Jinder Mahal. But I really like the fact that two Montreal heroes are in the ring getting beat by a guy and the fans are still cheering it in front of that crazy-ass crowd. And, I mean, that whole team there of Lashley, Strowman, and Roman, you got one guy that's massively over in Braun Strowman, you got another guy that everybody hates in Roman Reigns, and then you got a third guy, Lashley, who nobody really gives a shit about. And, you know, you got to think that these three guys, Braun Strowman, Bobby Lashley, and Roman Reigns, why are they associating these three guys together? And I'm thinking what's going to wind up happening in the future after Backlash. Strowman and Lashley, also announced on Monday Night Raw, are going to have a tag team match at Backlash against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. You might want to give Owens and Zayn the victory in that. Maybe have some sort of a miscommunication by Strowman and Lashley. Maybe setting up some sort of a feud between them or maybe a match between them. And after Roman Reigns is done with Samoa Joe, win, lose, or draw there, even though I think Roman is going to win, what do you do with Roman Reigns? Joe is on SmackDown, so there's no rematch to be had. He has no opponent. Brock Lesnar's sitting at home. He's got nobody to really work with. So that leaves Braun Strowman, Bobby Lashley, and Roman Reigns sitting there on Monday Night Raw, all most likely with victories at Backlash. And that's when I kind of envision Kurt Angle coming out to the stage maybe next Monday after Backlash and announcing a triple threat. Or maybe a series of matches, maybe if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are able to upset Strowman and Lashley, maybe if Strowman and Lashley implode, or one guy accidentally hits the other, or something like that, and Owens and Zayn can pull off a victory and brag their asses off about it, maybe they can be thrown into that mix too, and Kurt Angle takes all five guys and makes a series of matches, or maybe one big fatal five-way or something, to determine the number one contender to Brock's title at whatever pay-per-view they do that title match on. I'm guessing Money in the Bank, but it might even stretch out to SummerSlam. I don't know. So that's kind of where I see it going, you know, especially since Strowman and Lashley and Roman aren't being kept separate. You know, they're involved in the same matches together. Eventually, that's going to have to wind up leading to some sort of a match. 